We always look when there's a renter, regardless of whether they have insurance or not, we look at landlord liability. There are several cases that are reported that deal with landlord liability. And it's a harder road than going after the dog owner and obvious reasons, right? If you're just renting your house to somebody, you don't know that there's a dog there. You don't know if they're vicious propensity. You don't know. You're just some person that's renting out their house. Then you typically don't have liability for that. It's the cases where there's an indication that there's a vicious dog there. For example, you're renting an apartment building and maintenance individuals have told the landlord that there's a problem here, that there's this dog in the building that's going after people. Maybe they've that's bitten somebody before, that's attacked multiple people before. In that case, when a landlord turns a blind eye to it and then somebody gets attacked, then landlords can be held responsible. And the theory of that is that they have the ability to do something about it. There has to be what is considered, quote, control. And that doesn't mean that the landlord physically can control the dog, but the control necessary for landlord liability is the ability to do things like say to the renter, look, you have a vicious dog in my building, either get rid of the dog or you're going to have to leave yourself, or I want you to take your dog to train. If you have the ability to do something as a landlord, and then you just turn a blind eye to it, ostensibly because you're getting rent, then you can be held responsible as well.